<laughs> you have got to take a picture of this with your phone later. And then put, show the camera like on right now. We're gonna sell some of these things right here. These look how handy that is. <laughs> is that cool? No, no. I mean, you can't be. You can't like. You can't let it. You know what I mean. You can't be moving it around. So I'm gonna place it and then. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. That thing is so handy, man. I've used it in the airplane. I've used it so many places, dude. You know what I mean? Use your phone and then I'll show the camera and stuff, right? All right, let's get to work. This is supposed to be a 30 minute brush out, bub. No it? bath? No, brush outs are only a brush oh, out. Oh, okay. Brush outs are only a brush out. That's why she has to come for me to handle, her, handle him, get my hands on him, make the, sure he gets The to only go. dog that doesn't need a groom loop. The only dog. <laughs> only dog. The only dog that doesn't need a groom loop. I'm gonna do some leave-in conditioner here. It's time. He needs it. He is he looking needs it. like a pump mess here. He's got some pump. <laughs> Starts to get wispy and clumpy and stuff in there. It's, he looks like he's frozen, man. Smash the like button, people. Smash the like button as you come in. We're gonna do just a quick brush out. I wasn't gonna go live. I have lots of paperwork to catch up on. And when I go live, it takes up the computer. I can't do paperwork. I have to stay later, so. We'll just do a quick brush out on my cell phone here. If it crashes or something like that, we won't come back on, so just FYI. Hopefully you guys got your notification bell situated. Everyone from yesterday. So, just this is every two week mandated. <laughs> this is a mandated groom for every two weeks. So every two weeks we are doing something. We're brushing or we're, you can see why, man. A, 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 no, a whole another two weeks and if I don't touch him, it probably would be pretty, uh, work pretty, you know, tangled up in there. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine. So this should take me about 30 minutes, you know? And then uh, I offer her a dis, a, not a discount, but I do offer her a plan. She book pays like, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight, ten 10 grooms in advance. And then, like Chili's does, you know how Chili's does with, you buy a $100 gift card, you get $10 back. It's, it's kind of like that. So, I give her extra money back for free, and she pays a lump sum. So, if you're a groomer, offer that. Because some people are able to go out of pocket, you know, ahead. Some people can ha have that money si uh, sitting there saved, that they can go, you know what? If you're gonna, if I'm going to buy a $100 Chili gift card, and I get a, a $10 or $20 back, yeah, baby, you know what I mean? I don't even think it's like that. I think it's five dollars for every seventy or something like that. It used to be, I don't know. So again, leave-in conditioner, just real light. My favorite spray bottle because I'm gonna have to keep applying it, right? Don't forget your comment. I'm not reading you guys. I'm not seeing you on the TV, so make your comments and stuff. But I won't be able to see ya. I actually should also just do do not disturb here. Hold on, let me do do not disturb so no one gets a call in. We don't get a call in. And I forgot, so we have two pedestals. You know, we're gaming at night now. And we brought the, you just can't have enough pedestals. So I've got this baby rig right now. Just rig. And so we sell these twist, twist ties on our website. Like this. Look at, I totally rigged it. So it's like totally hanging there. So if you need these twist ties, I have used it on the oh, airplane. We went somewhere. We went somewhere in there. The back of the seat didn't have a hook for your phone, so you could, but they made you watch movies for free off of your own phone with an app. And I totally hung up the phone right in front of my seat. No one else had something like that. I was just like, I am the smartest person on this plane. <laughs> so if you need something like that, twist tie, please. They're not that expensive. Go get it. It's been. I have two. They're extremely helpful I, you can rig almost anything if you know how to you can prop it up and use it as a stand on the table you can hang your stuff off the back of an airport airplane seat and today i was like look we left the pedestal at home how am i going to make this work and sure enough i was able to use just a regular pedestal and just wrap that twisty tie thing around it it's pretty cool man without that twisty tie we would not be live let's just put it that way not at all. Not at all. There's no way to hold the phone up, man. Remember, start at your lowest point. 
and really you have to imagine you need to brush every single hair not this every single this is not every strand doing that is not getting every strand you need to make sure you get it from the skin out start at your lowest point of the body right down here like we already did the leg went up that way and this coat I mean it's there is just something different when people are doing this stuff at home so she, you can tell this is being brushed. Come on, you remember those videos? You can tell this is being brushed. Mm. I'm not using cologne, I'm just using the missing, uh, missing the leave-in conditioner called The Stuff. But it's still, I like, I still enjoy the smell. It's real faint, it smells like a little sandalwood. But it, it, does, it comes just how it smells. It's not like fragrance or anything, that's just how it smells. I just love it, it's so soft. But we always, you know, finish out with pet cell cologne because it's my favorite. It's so lasting and refreshing. I mean, and I haven't had to switch up all these years. It's just always rainforest cologne, you know. I have tried a few things, don't get me wrong. But it's all, I don't, let me see how to. There's so many different things on the market, you guys, to be able to say, which one do you want to do? And then to just. I had some that would be so strong, like a man's cologne. Oh gosh, that took like four years to finish that. And so I know this works, I know it smells great, and I've uh, had one client, one or two over the years that said, don't spray anything. They didn't even get to smell rainforest cologne, so it's, I've not had any complaints like, oh, it's gross, or it's too strong, or you know, stuff like that. But yeah, when, we, when I worked at the PetSmart, we had all kinds of colognes, and I was like, man, this is cool, this is great. So when I went out on my own, after, way after PetSmart, went out on my own, I was like, these colognes are really gross smelling, they're strong. So I decided not to finish them out and then didn't bring them back on. Who wants a cologne that lasts like six, 10 years? Like you can't even finish like a four ounce bottle because it's so strong. So strong, you're just like, oh gosh. So what's that? I can't even see you guys, but... How, long, uh, how much the... How long does the uh, dog need this? Which stuff? Brushing and stuff. This brushing? Yeah, she should brush this dog every day. So, tell them about the routine where you have them scheduled out. Oh, so the routine for Max, because he's... Um, look, if you want a long-haired dog like this, those people that are like, all you do is shave dog D. No, all I do is not shave dogs. If the teamwork is there between me and the pet parent, then you don't have to shave the dog. You have to work together. But I can't fix a dog that comes in here, and I'm not going to. Uh, the dematting is extremely painful in my book. That's what I believe. So the routine is every two weeks she comes in. One of those grooms is going to be a full everything, like we did last, two weeks ago on live. And then two weeks now we're here, and then I just put my hands on the pet and make sure I can get everything. That I can actually get a comb through his coat. That's the key. I'm not here to do nails, none of that stuff. It's just a brush and go. Cheaper, faster, easier. But if he came in with a lot more mats, then it, the rate might not be the cheapest. You know what I'm saying? Folks like to think like, oh, the groom should always be the same price. Actually, it shouldn't. If you come in and you haven't brushed in a month versus if you did re really do what you're supposed to do, brush every day, then it, the work is different. The amount of time and exhaustion. And you're paying for more than that. You're paying for expertise on me not brush burning your dog, you know, me not injuring your dog, There's, and me having only him here, you know what I'm saying? So each place has their, the way they want to do it. But don't think that just because you have the same dog and the same groom set up that it's always the same price. I think that's incorrect. And I, I believe that's incorrect. If I have really short hair and I'm gonna go get a short haircut every time, then great. But if I start to grow it out and now she's gotta perm my hair and curl my hair and do all that, <clears throat> it's different. I'm messing with my phone here for a minute. <coughs> okay, there's 100 people. If uh, you're happy I'm here, smash the like button. Smash the like button if you're happy I'm here.
yeah, you have to work with the dog every day, maybe with love and treats. You have to do it. There's, there's a way to train, oh, absolutely. Sometimes the training isn't really training, it's just consistency. And the fact that I'm not letting you tell me no. Obviously, if he can act like this for grooming, you, you know that uh, mom told me the only reason he's that great is because we started brushing him as a puppy and we brushed him so much. We did so much grooming for him at home. If you don't do it at home, the groomer's not gonna be able to fix it for you. The groomer's not here to be your trainer. The groom, groomer here is to groom your dog. And if your dog goes in wild, crazy, matted, aggressive, all those things, then the groomer really can't do their job. Sometimes if they wanna do their job, they might charge more, which I believe they should. Or they're gonna do something like I do, which I'm gonna get the pet parent involved during the groom so they can firsthand see and feel how difficult it is. If your dog doesn't like stuff at home, do you think it's gonna like it at the groom shop? That doesn't even know the groomer like it knows the family members. If he's biting the family members, do you think he's not gonna bite the groomer? Come on. Definitely gonna bite the groomer. You can see I'm not over here either taking my time. I'm not over here chit-chatting. I'm not on my phone. I'm not wasting my manpower hours. You know what I'm saying? I am de dedicated in getting his coat done and on to the next groom. There's no dilly-dallying. There's no playing on the cell phone, stuff like that. I mean, but I'm live, live grooming, so it's a little different than maybe your, your situation. Okay, you guys are just going to have to bear with me. I'm not going to mess with the phone. It might fall off. Dana Smith? Yeah. Dana Smith, thank you so much. David said you donated some moolah. Thank you so much. If you're learning, if you're loving it, if you're wanting to support us to stay alive and stay here for you and just keep doing the videos and all that, that's what the donation means. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Melissa P said, I donated to your haircut or your hair dyeing, not because I wanted you to dye your hair, but because I wanted other people to see that th this is possible and that they could do the same thing. If you support it, she said, because the entertainment is awesome and I love watching you. She said, I donated to dye your hair to 200 bucks, right? 200 bucks she donated or more than that actually over time. And yesterday she even donated more. So it's not about, oh, what am I paying you to do? Well, you're watching me already. So you, and you watching over 700 and something videos for free already. That's already all out there. If you're learning something, if you're in, enjoying the entertainment, I mean, those all things will go, you know, let's go live. They always hook us up. They always support us. I can tell you what, I can tell you right now how many people have told me, Didi, I went into my groomer and I asked her if I could watch her and she said no. She was insulted. I went into the groom shop to try to find a new groomer. I asked to get a tour of the facility and she said no. She seemed very rude and offended when I said that. Really? And here I am, exposing everything I do. So yeah, a donation goes a long way. You go down, you guys go down, go drive to the nearest groomer and walk in there and say, hey, can I record you for about an hour and just watch you groom? Go, I, I go, challenge you. And then go, wow, no one wants to let us do it. And then, when, then later on, come back and be like, why don't you want to let us do it? Because it might make them nick a dog, because it might make them nervous, because they're not clean, because the dogs are in cages that are filthy. Who knows? Because it makes it dangerous, because the, there has to be now leadership where I'm like, hey, don't stand there, don't step on the wire, don't do, you know what I mean? People don't like that kind of stuff. But if I want you to let, let you, if I want to let you watch me, I have to be in control of the environment. Otherwise, it's running around, maybe even bring your kids over here running around. You never know what's going on. So all groomers can't do that. They're trying to groom. They're not trying to hear sit and chit chat. And then some groomers are doing 15, 20 dogs a day. Do you think that they want you to see how, how hard it is and how much fast they have to work? Man, what am I talking about, dude? Perla donated to you. Who did? Perla. Perla. Perla, girl, you're so supportive, man. I appreciate you. Perla's up? What are you doing, girl? That was Mikio, man. Mikio's up? Well, I guess it is. It's, well, it's still early. I don't know what you're doing, Mikio. She ain't been to bed. It's not nine, is it? Uh, 
That's why I told you she's she's messing around. If I say something else, but she is totally messing around. She did. She, she don't sleep three hours a day. She, she sleeps two. <laughs> she said she hasn't got to bed. Dude. I can imagine that. What has she been doing? Did she go moderate or what? Tracy, what's up? Thanks for the donation. Oh, see, Perla, thank you. You guys know what I'm talking about. Dana Smith, I have seen you guys donate before, you guys. I appreciate you, but there's 110 people and the same folks always donate. Um, 110, 62 likes. Come on, people. Smash the like button. As Jonathan would say, Dee Dee will close up her shop. on. She will shut down the live if people just don't just do so simple things. Jonathan said yesterday, Jonathan, this gentleman Jonathan was like, I just started grooming a couple months ago, and he was like, if y'all don't like her like her video, she will stop doing the live. <laughs> I was like, he must have been there the other day. I was like, like the video, like the video. I got 10 minutes. I was like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> At least he remembered, man. That's crazy. I just don't think everyone has a chance to actually go back and watch the, all the videos, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong because I'm so busy, you know what I mean? Huh? 800 oh, I have 800 videos now? Yeah. I'm over here still saying 720 and 750 and 780. Wow, 800 videos. If you just got here to my channel, you have to go 800 videos to watch everything. And I can see by the amount of viewers on the first 150 videos that everybody on um, everybody has not watched the very beginning of videos of mine. Now I've put you guys right where I need to go. What the heck is Dee Dee doing today? 800 videos. That's a lot of David loading, man. David editing, which means editing means like putting two or three videos together. It means adding a, a logo to it, you know, little things like that. It doesn't mean cutting a lot of stuff out. I, I rarely try to cut stuff out. I really, really want to see the nitty gritty of what happens in the groom salon, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to cut out what, how I talk to them. I'm not trying to cut out that stuff. I want you guys to see it. I want the pet to realize it. There's nothing that I would want to say or do that I couldn't do in front of you. And I think that that tells a lot about your character. You may not like it if I tell you your dog tried to bite me, but I need to tell you so you know. You know what I mean? Maybe we have 880. 880 videos. Oh, Makio, it was 880. <laughs> Oh, I know. He said, imagine all the storage. I can't imagine how YouTube does it. Thank you, YouTube. But don't think for one minute that you put something on video that it's going to stay there forever. You better think twice about what you're putting out there and if it's the only place you're storing something. You know what I mean? So you can see, because... I have not run into very mats at, if any, right? It's just kind of light, light tangles. If I had run into mats, what are the other tools I would have needed? D-mat breaker. And I call this one very dangerous tool, uh, D-mat comb. Oh, sorry, I'm not even up here. D-mat comb, D-mat breaker. Oh, if you spray the, if you spray this on the, like so far out and it goes all over the floor, it is very squeaky clean and you will slip. <laughs> Silky, extremely silky and soft. Uh, you can see I'm not spraying until it's like absolutely damp. I'm just getting a light that light mist on there. And I am pretty sure, Mary, are you watching? She may not comment, but are you watching, Mary? Is she in her car out there? Yeah, she's out there. She's out there? She's watching. Hi, Mary. Max's mom is watching live. I wonder if she knows how to say hi. <laughs> hi, Mary. <laughs> She's gonna know as soon as we're done too, because it will be we're live, and she'll I'll be like we're done. And what's great about that she prepaid already is that as soon as we're done, she can go home. She'll come in, get the pet, and she can go. You know what I mean? Done deal. No pay. It had to not not have to pay or anything like that. It's a done deal. She usually she usually does tip me though and takes care of me, so she st stalls for just a minute, and I love her for that. So it's so sweet. She always tries to tip me, and I appreciate it. 
Look at the coat. Just brush. You can, when someone comes into my salon, not her, but when other people come in, and they're like, I brush every day. I look at the dog, and I can tell you if they brush every day. I, you, can, you saw what he looked like a second ago. I can tell you when the dog's been brushed every day. It's a very different look. Especially curly hair. Curly hair will be brushed out like this. Like it'll look a little bit straighter everywhere. His hair is so thick. His body, he weighs about what, nine to 11 pounds. His body is very tiny. So because of all this hair, it is, it is combable, but it's really thick. So use your, use this baby to get through there a little bit. I was just pulling this out by the teeth. I was just pulling this out by the teeth out of my grid over here, and I sliced my finger. It was it was like really deep, man. So th these are these are really sharp. You have to be careful. Be careful. All the tools that you're going to use are pretty sharp. That's freaking awesome. I tell people that to do that all the time. If you're like Abby, Abby Hawk, she wrote me the other day, said, how do I handle this situation? And I said, send them to my channel. And then I literally gave her a quote. I said, text her this message and say, go to this channel and do this, blah, 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 blah. You know, like if you, and then also I gave her, I said, make sure if you tell them to come to my store and shop that I know who sent them because I will give you a referral credit back. So I told her, make sure you put, make sure they say, uh, put their name in the comment section, in the notes section at checkout so that I can give Abby money back or money towards her next purchase. Like, you want to take care of your peeps, man. In real estate, in car sales, where else? You get, you have referrals. Referral means like, if you talk about my business and I talk about your business and she's going to give me a kickback. Um, affordable pet testing. They gave me a referral. Kululu pet, uh, the pet seat cover. They gave me a referral. You know, so big companies or even little companies should do the same thing. If somebody referred a client to me and they, and I always ask, where did you hear from me? Where did you hear about me? I write their name down and I send them five bucks. If I don't ever meet that person, let's just say I have a powwow uh, person, friend, you know, just someone powwowing for me. I had this one client, she sent me a real estate client. Or I sent her 50 bucks as soon as we closed the deal. I was like, you want 50 bucks cash or check? What do you want, how do you want it? You know, just don't even, don't even ask, just do it. And then I tell you what, they'll be like, wow, she hooked me up, man. And they'll be like, I am totally gonna send more business her way. I told people all the time, I need a job, right? They'll come to me, I need a job. I'm like, if you need a job, I want you right now. This one chick, she was uh, not working at all. I was like, right now, your job is for me. I'll pay you when you do this. I said, I will pay you to powwow for me. I said, you're not even working, but you live with mom and dad, and you have internet and this and that, and you have a Facebook, you have a Snapchat, you have all these social media. And I said, this, I gave her a quote. I gave her this writing thing. And I said, you go out there and you share that. Uh, call, call BD for my favorite groomer, you know, for grooming, for this and that. Use these pictures, da, 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 da. And all you do is every hour on the hour, you go post on your Facebook, your Instagram. Go post for my favorite groomer. And any referrals I get with your name on it, and this coupon code, I gave her a coupon code. I said, any referrals, I'll give you five bucks. Do you not know she's, she did one post? <laughs> she, I was like, you could totally make a living out of this. Every person that shops with me and comes in off of your post, I will give you five bucks. I just want to stop right there. <laughs> if someone offered me that and I didn't want to work in a facility, I could want to just work from home, I would be like, all over that. I would be all over that, man. I would open up like five, six different Facebook accounts. I'd be posting here and there. I'd call one dog, dog supplies. I would call one, you know what I mean? I would take that to a whole nother level. I would be sh shop here, D, my favorite groomer shop there. You gotta go shop. I would be like totally starting my own business to support this my favorite groomer. 
and I'll be like, don't forget to put your put my name. My name's Jessica, you know. But don't forget to put my name at the checkout. She's gonna send me five bucks. Shoo, I would be rich. That business would be like so busy. They would be like, you're hired. And I'll be like, nah, I want to work from home. <laughs> I'm just gonna work from home. Mary said, mom, his mom, Mary said, oh, it beats going to Starbucks. I can just sit outside and watch him on live YouTube. I was like, what? I should have started this a long time ago. Okay, I need to get control of the face here. So, being that I actually trust him without a groom loop, just, which I, sometimes I still get the groom loop out. If he's matted and stuff, got some tangles, I still need some more control than this can give me. But he does like to look down. When it comes to looking down, you still got to have to brush everything, right? I'm about to lose my phone, I'm telling you. It's still working. It's still holding you guys up, so I just can't be over here freaking walking around. Oh, isn't he look gorgeous? See, this is okay, right? Not the matted, dematting thing that we have to do. Heck no. That was just crazy. This, this is manageable. But it's, this requires work at home. Mary has to brush a lot. But I wanna say, I believe Mary is probably one of the only people in her family brushing the dog. You gotta get in there, remember, brush every single strand of hair. This, this is not uh, detangling, it's just, it's just helping me keep, get the through, it's not doing the detangling. I don't think it is. It's just helping me keep the hair real nice and soft. I'm not brushing it totally bristle dry. And it's gonna leave the hair with this nice silky feel. It's not doing any detangling like that. I don't think anything can. Unless you're like in a bath, you know, you got real long hair and you do the conditioner and a brush through your hair like that. I think that works. You can hear the feel, I can feel and hear the knot in there. Thanks, Perla. Yep, it's called The Stuff. I actually prefer you buy it in the set with a bottle, a fav your favorite bottle plus The I Stuff. The oh, you did. He put the link already in there. Okay. Let me get behind that ear. We've been having knots behind the ear, so once you shave, you have to really br brush this, Mary. So make sure you brush behind the ear. I'd rather stop, stop shave, get to a point where we stop shaving the out. But if you don't brush behind the ear, not that you don't, it's just... As it's growing out, you have to keep it straight. Otherwise, it'll just curl into each other and continue matting. Because, I mean, their mats were pretty bad, so they were shaved out at one point. So we're going to check here. Oh, might need that. Look forward there, buddy. that static that's what this comes in in the winter you're gonna have a lot more static than in the summer so you want to have either both I have water and I have one of these conditioner spray bottles
can't even see that ear, so let's stop what you're doing. Kind of grab it and see what is going on here. Now we can go like that, right? After we have done everything, gone through the whole coat, now you can kind of go sweep it back. Angela Turk donated five bucks. Angela Turk, thank you. Thank you, Angela. Angela says she's about to move to the UK. Really? That was a false alarm, man. False alarm! You can't do that to us. Me and Angela, when she was hanging out with us last night. Angela, thank you for your donation. It means a lot to me. Alright, got this side left. Got all this stuff's in our way now. I guess I may have to use that, right? <laughs> I may have to use that one, right? Okay. This is rig I got this totally rigged right now. <laughs> I got these twistless ties, man. They're freaking amazing. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much for your donations, man. I appreciate that. All right, um... Here we go. Make sure you smash the like button. We're doing pretty good. 87 likes. I'm loving it, man. Loving it. 112 watchers, though. You got those haters there in the background watching, just waiting for a mistake to happen. <laughs> or that one lady who's recording everything talking about, don't think I don't know. I'm recording everything you're doing so that I can turn you in once it gets too bad what you're doing to these dogs. And I'm like, dude, I'm recording you. I'm recording your behavior, girl. You're recording. I'm over here helping people. It does make me laugh now. It didn't make me laugh a, a couple years ago, but... I'm going to record... I had this one email. I'm going to record everything you do. I actually saw it from another, uh, another poster. They shared it with me. There was like a powwow... Uh, I hate Dee Dee people. And they all talk about me on this Facebook page. Like they have nothing better to do. I would be like, hey, why don't you quit talking about Dee Dee and go groom a dog? I mean, please, get off the phone and go groom a dog. Better yourself instead of picking on somebody else and you don't even know. All right? That's why there's like 20 people that don't ever say anything. I think there's some mental situation there then if that's the case right wouldn't you think there's something wrong with that like maybe some in, uh, early on childhood trauma and that that's what they do is they'll just they when you get like yeah you know you want to um something bothers you but then it bothers you so much you can never let it go so every day you like it's driving who you are even if it's all negative it's driving you like like say you were going to stalk somebody you're still gonna watch every video. You may hate that person, but for some reason you watch every video. And don't say anything. You're all quiet. See, I'm planning on not shaving it this time here. I'm gonna get get through it and then I think mom's watching, so maybe she can help me with the ears back. Just keep the back of the ear as it grows back out. Remember I told you guys in one video, I was like, someone that's blind could totally do this. So if someone was blind and was like, Dee, I really want to work with animals, but I'm kind of blind or I'm, I am blind, could I do this? And I would be like, you would have to have a good leader groomer, I think, to get started. But if I, if I was blind, I could totally, I, I do, I close your eyes, close your eyes and brush. 
someone that's blind is, is really good at it too. They're already really good at being blind. Like they are, they know how to feel things, you know, better than me. But I, I practice all the time because I can't, I need to wear glasses and contact lenses, you know, so I get it. But if someone was blind and they want to work at your salon, boy, you better let them. But you just have to be the one that guides the groom. You have to go, okay, this dog will not bite you. You know what I mean? Like, this dog is really great. I would not let them get into, like, an aggressive dog situation. I would protect the, the blind person. But if you're blind, you could totally do this. If you know somebody that's blind and they want to work with animals, they, they can work. They might be limited on what they're doing, but they can totally brush this dog. Because you can, you, what I do is you have to feel the knot in the hair and the body parts. You don't need to see them. You need to know where they're at. And you need to have the right tools to work them out. And since I'm talking about that, there's been several, more, more than several, hairs flying everywhere. Let me use my mask and wipe my face. There's been several folks that have reached out to me and said, hey, Dee Dee, I am in a wheelchair. Is it possible for me to groom my dog? I'm like, yeah, why not? And I had a gentleman, he was in a wheelchair, and he ordered everything. He called me and he ordered, he just said, matter of fact, I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you real? <laughs> he called me and he said, uh, I seen you on YouTube. I think he was a military veteran. And so military veterans, we get it. Military folks, we usually understand each other. Usually. There are some folks that are just, we, we don't understand, but. He calls me up and he's like, dude, I just want to give you my, it was an older guy, older than me. Uh, so, Pat, like 50 and up. I can't remember, I don't know his age, but I could tell by his voice and his, he retired already, things like that. He's like, he would be like my dad, right? He was like. Look, I saw you on YouTube. I love what you do. I want to do this, this, and this, and this is what I want to do. And I have this dog, and this dog is aggressive, and no one wants to groom him, blah, blah, blah. And I want the stuff, and this is what I want, and here's my credit card. Just send it to me. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I'm not going to just send you some of this and that. You didn't even tell me what color and all that stuff because people have a problem with colors sometimes, and they get all upset. Or if the product is little, looks a little bit different. They get upset and he goes, I don't care. I just want the items that will do this and this and this. I don't care what they look like. Just send them to me. And I said, you are, I was like trying to get a release statement. I was like, are you sure? I'm about to throw this in the mail and what if he's not happy? Oh, he got, he left uh, one of my Facebook reviews. He left, he was like, I love this girl. <laughs> got all my tools. I'm so excited. I threw in a little extra, extra because he spent like 500 and something dollars or whatever. He bought everything at once. And you know what? At the end of the conversation, he told me, he said, I'm in a wheelchair, Deanie, and I'm going to do this myself because the groomers here can't in this little town that he's in or whatnot. And I thought, wow, that is awesome. And I said, well, if you don't mind, when you get set up, will you send me a picture so I can see how, you know, what your table looks like and how you roll under it and stuff like that? And so he did. Took him a few tries, but he did. He got me a picture. Don't get mad, man. He sent me a picture, and it is just a basic table. You just need to make sure whatever wheelchair you're in, you have to do some measurements, okay, and make sure that it's tall enough or short enough, you know. It needs to be, like, right above your wheelchair at that point, depending on what kind of wheelchair you have. So it is possible for you to do all kinds of stuff in a wheelchair and blind. I had this uh, YouTube, his hair is so wispy and it totally sticks on you. I had this YouTube watcher, she, man, she made me laugh so hard. She called me up and I talked to her and she told me how, she said, Dee Dee, will you please, you know, make sure you zoom in and stuff like that. She asked me a little bit about how to use her iPad, right, and stuff. She said, Dee Dee, I am blind and I have to you I have to sit here. Oh my gosh, I want to just laugh right now. Uh, Cuz I mean, it was hilarious. She says, "I am uh, legally blind and I have to hold this microscope in my eye to see you on my iPad." <laughs> oh, and I said, "You do?" I said, "And you still watch me?" And she goes, "Hell yeah." I was like, "Wow." I said, "I am so honored." I said, 
And so I helped her. I helped her with what her, whatever settings, you know, settings to help her to change it. But I was like, wow, people that are blind are still watching me. Groom dogs. It's so cool. Should have asked her for a picture. I might have. I never did get one. See what a better experience that is? If he is not matted, do you see the difference? Do you look at his tail wagging and stuff? He's just so happy and different. He's just different. It's just, it's not painful. I'm sure this is not the most lovely thing, but this is not, he's used to this. You know, he's not used to being matted like he was at one time. Goodness. Oh, I'm so grateful that mom, you know, appreciates the guidance that I help her with and deciding like, hey, this is how we have to do it, you know? She appreciated it. She didn't get offended. She didn't get mad. She just said, okay, Dee, I see and I believe, okay? And I get it. Like, I, I get it now, Dee. Dee. And for the 10th time, uh, for the third time, I get it. I'm there. I'm on board. And my dry hands don't help. They're holding on to this hair. Oh, he looks gorgeous. He like gold just can I see here okay so I'm gonna brush everything you know how I do brush it all into your face here we're almost done when we're done we're out of here 41 minutes so I should be done in 30 and it just slows me down to talk the whole time doesn't it we need to get done because our next client's coming in This is not a brush brush. I'm just shaping it and putting everything in my face so I know what to take off and what not to take off. I call it the shaper. It comes in like a white handle now. Because you got to think, some of these tools I've had for 15 years, they're not going to look the same. Matter of fact, the companies might not even be open anymore. Just skim there. I did not have time to load all the scissors yet. I did load the My Favorite Groomer 8.5 scissors on there last night, but there's more to come that I haven't loaded yet. Though I'm going to try to get it done today. The ones with our uh, name on it, if you want to like literally support us. Look at your hair, bud. Remember, this is a brush only. I'm just doing some other little stuff because I know he's, Christmas is here. Just do a little tiny cleanup. You don't have to do much of the other stuff because he'll be back in two weeks. They always say get the keep the hair out of the face if possible. It's kind of hard to do without you know making chunks of hair gone, but just fade that out like that, right? And then it's still gonna come out. His hair's all wrong. David, can I borrow your phone a minute? Yeah. Hey, if you could lay it down there, I'm going to do a picture when I'm done here. So with that? Huh? What's up with the clippers? I don't know, man. He's oil or something. Dang. It's dying. It's not horrible, right? Yeah. Here, give it here. I'll hold it. It might not be plugged in all the way. Sometimes it acts funny if it's not plugged in all the way. Oh, yeah. It's got all that hair in it. His, his feet are all wet, though. That's why. Oh. So his pads were wet, and I did a 40, and you could kind of hear, like, Bleh! water and a blade don't mix. Oh, that's all the hair stuck in my 40. Someone's getting ready for work or something. Thanks for spending your time with us. Okay, so now, clean this out. 
little dirty in there, huh? Take that out. Go back to your tin. Let me see. Up, up, up. Remember, do your code words. Mary, you can come in. We're about done. I'm going to do a picture and then we're done. Okay. We'll put everything back. Don't go nowhere yet. Hang this up here. I'm going to do this up. Rainforest Cologne. Yeah. That's in the wrong place. This goes there, baby. Okay, stay there. Stay in the cup. What? Who said that? Somebody said that in the comments. Who said that, though? Michelle. No, but I mean, like, where did Michelle, where, Michelle Bernier? Michelle, where did you hear that from? We were just talking about that. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, did you hear our discussion yesterday? All right, stay there, buddy. How old is Matt? <laughs> oh, well. If you need one of these, they're cheap on my website, man. I got hair all over the place. Okay, Max, me and you have to go back to this table here. I'm going to get a picture with him, no background, so I can use it on a postcard. Come here. Let's do this. Oh, I can't do it, man. All these scissors are in my way. That's a good boy. All right, you guys, say bye to Max. We're about to put on his harness. Okay, come here, baby. Good boy. I don't sell these harnesses, but if you want one like this, I will give you an affiliate link. I'll be right back. We got a few minutes. Hey, I'm hungry.
she is a huge, I mean, she might as well buy stock. She might as well buy stock in our <laughs> company. That's so awesome. That is so awesome, man. Melissa P., you are the best, girl. Melissa P. has donated, like, almost every feed, and one time she donated so much, it was just like, my jaw dropped. So, those of you who haven't donated the donation, you know what it goes for. I don't have to keep saying it, but if you go to other channels and you're learning something, donations, you know, I don't even have to mention it. People are just like, that's what it's there for. It's there for, like, hey, I support you. Hey, I love what you do. Hey, I want to see you again, and hey, I've learned so much from you. There's so many groomers out there and pet parents that are, like, using my techniques every day. And so if those techniques weren't taught to you in a, like a judge free zone, how, how would you have gotten it? So that's where you go, Hey, I'm going to support this channel. And that's how you support a channel. Connie Sermon. What's up? What's up you guys? I love you too. So I have, I'm not going live for the next groom. It's really hard to watch and it's hard to groom her. And she's always uh, unpredictable. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? Anybody want to know who it is? Next, uh, it's, it's a next Shih Tzu groom. Aggressive. Mean. Unpredictable. I don't really do her live ever. Anybody got... Anybody know who I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, good cause. I need to get some sleep. <laughs> Mikhail's like, good, I can go to sleep. Perla Spur, what are you doing? You're amazing. I'm told you're, I got to give it back to you, man. I, I got to give it back to you. Me, David and I are coming to visit Perla. Oh, Sammy Davis's sister. <laughs> Gina. Let me see. Gina K. Uh, so let me see. I've got a Gina G and a Gina M, right? Gina K, have you ordered from us before? Sorry if I don't remember that. I don't think I've groomed, I have never, no, Mikio, I have never groomed this dog live. Because every time I try to make some stride on her face, it goes backwards. But I have done a lot of videos. Matter of fact, one of the first videos with Maggie Davis is with the mom and the mom is a little bitty old lady and nowadays she's on oxygen so it takes me and david to groom that dog and it's it's the thing that she does though and i did a groom that everyone hated with the um maggie davis's mom's son which was i believe military retired he he held his own dog he held her i didn't mm -mm, i wasn't me it was him no one liked how he, he held the dog. Everyone was like, what the? I was like, this is his dog. You know, and you have to control the dog before he, it hurts somebody. And at home, he's in charge, right? He, at home, he is the leader. Kelly H., I'm telling you, it's like the, this powwow of, of friends and clients of mine that always donate. You're the best. Wouldn't it be, that's what I'm talking about, Kelly. It just takes a group of people, not three people, right? Not 10 people, always every feed. A dollar from every person is $100. And then everybody didn't, ha no one had to donate five at that point. No one had to donate a thousand. No one had to donate, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe that one gamer, I don't, I can't believe he can make 60 grand in just a feed. I, I, I'm floored. And all he is teaching them is excitement, entertainment, and how to get through th this certain games that we watch. I, I'm floored on that. But wouldn't it be cool if everyone watched Donate a Dollar? Thanks for the live feed and sharing your intelligence. Kelly H., thank you so much for appreciating me. I appreciate you. I can hear it now. All she says is about money. It's all about money with Didi. I, I promise you, it is not. I promise you. I promise you, man. You don't know me if that's the way you're going to judge me. You have no idea where I give back then. And it's okay. You're not in my life and you're not me. I have to deal with God. when I have to look at God and direct my hair. I have to work with God on that, right? Uh, if, if you guys have received something free from me, say free. Those of you who have received something free from me, write the word free. And that will tell you how many people have received something free from me. Whether it was a gift, whether it was a tool, whether it was a free something, a gift. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was something, write free. If you received something at your home from me that was free, write free. 
okay? Or if I paid off something for you, or if I gave you money. All right, you feel me? If you guys can see the word free, and I'll do that on it. I should do that on every chat because there are so many people I've helped and sent them stuff, man. And um, I'm tired of people saying it's all about money. If it was about money, I would not go out of my own labor and pocket and do stuff for free. I wouldn't. I would be so... There's that movie. What movie is that? Where that there's old man had a millions and millions and millions of dollars in paintings and all this, and he was in England. He didn't do nothing for free. At the very end of the movie, you find out the reason why was everything was in a trust fund. Oh yeah, well, he, and he, he he wasn't rich. He had he, a really big trust fund. He had a really big trust fund, and everything he did had to have been a purchase yeah, or everyone, an investment everyone. or a receipt. Everyone was thinking that. He Everyone was thinking greedy. he was a greedy freaking because jerk, but he left his grandkids that that but disowned they, him. They kidnapped his grandkids to try to get money out of him. You guys didn't know paid. what to. Yeah, he didn't pay he the couldn't. ransom. Yeah, because he couldn't. Because he couldn't. It was it was all all his money was lots of money was locked up, and so it wasn't about money. But you watched that whole movie. It was a really cool movie, man. What movie found, was that? Nobody found out until he died, and he died with the painting in his hand, right? Oh yeah, he died alone, yeah. alone with a very beautiful painting that he had bu purchased. Yeah. Uh, Jessica's trying to buy something. Will you go just check yeah, that I, out? I have, I She's like, can anyone help me buy it? Jessica, just call us. Uh, Jessica, he put the link right there. Just click on it and go purchase. It just depends on if you're trying to watch the show and purchase. All right, so I'm not sure. Let me see if I can figure out my phone here. Hold on. When you just want to look at battery life. Okay. Isn't that a movie with Bill Murray and Eddie Murphy? I think so. Eddie Murphy's not in there. Oh, wait, no, never mind. No, Eddie Murphy's not in there. It was like a, you feel like you're watching a London royal royalty movie, something like that. And uh, <clears throat> this gentleman is always looking at the numbers. At the end of the night, he's in his bedroom. It's a big mansion. He's always looking at these rolls of numbers like back in the tax day. Uh, but no, it's... Um, Gosh, it's such a good movie. But anyway, my point is, it's not about money. If it was about money, I tell you what, you wouldn't. If I was about money, and why can't it be? I'm looking at who's who's about money. That should be a song. I'm about money, money, money. I'm about money, money. Who's about money, money, money? Okay, so some of these rappers, some of these celebrities, some of these, some of these, anybody, some of these anybody's, you don't even know their name, have millions of dollars and they are all about money. And you might have dated them, married them, <laughs> divorced them. So if, why can't it be? If someone is doing great, why can't they be doing great? Man, I look at like Queen Latifah, you know, I don't even know why that came to my head, but Queen Latifah, she's probably doing great. Oprah Winfrey, she's probably doing freaking great. Why I, w I don't hate on Oprah Winfrey. I actually look up to Oprah Winfrey. I look up to people that are doing better than me and making more of a impact on the world. Look up to them or look over to them and go, I, I want to be right here with you. I want to be right with you, not above you or better than you or whatever. I want to be right here with you doing what you do. And man, if I could be a little bit like Oprah Winfrey, I really want to run for president. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to piss these haters off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love your spirit. Huge hug from Germany. Whoop, whoop. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Danke schön. Danke schön. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Donna H. with smiles gave us two bucks. Thank you so much, man. Is that who I think it is coming in? Is that Maggie Davis out there? You are so honest, Dee Dee. Can't understand people being mean to you. I don't either, man. The, even on my haircut the other day, I'm like, are you kidding me? Why are you hating on my haircut? If I don't like the haircut, I just move on, right? Don't watch the haircut. We're so different. People are so different. Thanks for me making me a better groomer. Wow, freaking awesome, Julia. Please send me some pictures of you using our tools. Ta uh, hashtag my favorite groomer. Hashtag dog up stand, dog up mini. I want to see those. If I go to Instagram and just do dog up mini, and I can see everyone's posts that use that hashtag. That's the coolest feeling is to go, yeah, yeah. They're putting it out there, you know? Pits are the most amazing animals you could ever have. They protect people that raise them to be mean, give them a bad reputation. Go search for yourself. Uh, I wish I could afford to donate. It's okay, Gina K, man. Thank you. The movie is called All the Money in the World. Really? You found it? Yeah. Go watch that movie, you guys, and tell them I sent you. <laughs> Go watch. If you want to buy the movie, email me. I'll send you a link. But that, that movie is really freaking cool, man. 
dollar sign not working really morning good morning Didi. good morning good morning if you haven't watched this entire feed please go watch the very beginning it's a very a very great feed excuse me i just burped you can donate via paypal or square cash app if you have that if you don't have the square cash app and you want to do business with me at a lower rate you can download the square cash app by letting me text you a link so text me on the phone number in the back of this Text me there and you can see I'll have the um, Square Cash app sent to you where me and you both could get $5. I wish I could buy the brush and comb, but I don't have enough money. Oh, dang. Um, I can't help you. I don't have any used brushes and combs to sell you. Uh, but uh, you should have shot Black Friday, maybe. The comb was on sale Black Friday. But the kit, I mean, the kit's fine, you know. Just whenever you can, just save your money. Uh, priorities, set your priorities and just move in from there. What's the best stuff for fleas? Oh, I can't answer that right now. It's too long of an answer. Um, I need more. I actually need more facts to give you the right question answer situation. All right. So people that judge others most of the time need to look at themselves in the mirror. Absolutely. I believe a lot of times when people are really hateful, something is going on with them. And I always tell myself, whatever it is, it's not me. Yeah. Makio, M Maggie Davis. David, put Maggie Davis as one of the, her first grooms. Could you find it? The one with the mom holding. I know y'all have not seen this. All y'all uh, hardcore watchers and stuff. I know you guys. I don't think you've seen it. Not everybody. Is that Maggie Davis outside? She's, we're about to head out. It wasn't a complete groom. So do you recommend other groomers to do live? I can't speak for another groomer, honestly. I don't, I don't know what to tell you on that. If I didn't know what I was doing, I don't think I would be doing live. Because if I nicked or cut or injured a dog on video, it's my career's over. So maybe that's why a lot of groomers don't do it live. because And they only pick and choose what they do. I don't even think they do live. Tell me, am I the only live groomer out there? I've seen some lot. I don't have time to watch videos. I really don't. I w you guys that hung out with us last night, I was up till past 1 o'clock in the morning. And I only gamed for 30 minutes. I was working until past midnight uh so working on Callie's uh magnets uh, lab you'll see it you'll see it soon on my website I'll be doing magnets for people who need magnets for their service dogs and stuff like that on the website so someone that is doing grooming videos versus doing live grooming videos let me ask you what do you think I would hi Sage what do you think would happen if I if I cut a dog's ear off on live feed any answers if a groomer is not going to let you watch them, let alone watch and record them, let alone watch and record them live. My haters right now would probably be like, I'm getting you fired. I mean, they already do that. Can you believe that? People have already called PETA on me. They've called wherever they've called. They, they hate me, like hate me. For what? Because I actually do something that I actually, the way I look at it is I've always done everything with the client there <laughs> thank you sage what's up sage i miss you if i was a groomer and i went and i really didn't know what i was doing and i i and i say that because you really need to know what the, you're doing if you're gonna go live grooming, let alone grooming and put it on YouTube. If, if you do a video and then you choi by choice put it on YouTube, then you put a video on there you're not ashamed of, I would think, right? That you can live with. So if you do something live, you can't take it back. You can stop the feed and you could probably go delete it, but you cannot take it back. So you need to be really careful. So I, I'm going too far with your, your question, but you're like, hey, could, do you think all groomers should go live? No, you need to ask every groomer, and, and every groomer will probably already have their answer for you. It's like, hell no. Every groomer is not doing one at a time. The groomer that's grooming out of their home, the groomer that's grooming, uh, learning to groom and doesn't really know everything yet is doing it at, out of a home usually or a client's home. They are not 100%. I would be afraid to see that person go live if they don't have the expertise behind making decisions when something's going crazy. Can you imagine being in the room with um, Sammy Davis and your beginner groomer? I think the beginner groomer would love what she's doing, but she probably will get hurt. Um, David, without me, I think that he, with him, he could not groom um, Sammy Davis alone. That's just not gonna happen. So, I'm not a groomer. 
He said, he said, I'm not a groomer. So there's many of you that are not a real groomer yet. You're learning to be that. So that person, I probably would not suggest you go live. You can't take back what you put out there in the video live world. And once someone sees it, like right now, 102 people or so, let's say they're really watching. If they saw me like say cut, I'm going to say cut off an ear because a friend of mine did it. <laughs> a friend of mine cut off a dog's ear. Uh, and it, it wasn't the whole ear. I didn't get to see. Did you just fart? He just farted. Oh, that was a stool. Hardcore Ior, thank you so much for your donation. I think you just asked me the question on that, right? Make sure you smash the like button. We're about to peel out of here. Thank you so much. Look, what? We're getting all these donations today, man. You guys are the best. I can keep you guys. Man, she's scary to watch. I can't. On my gut instinct, you get you have a gut instinct as a parent and as a person. And I tell you what, you have a gut instinct, you better follow it, okay? I'm gonna slap myself if I get if her. Oh. An unpredictable situation you don't want to record. Uh, I don't mind the pet parent being Maggie here. Davis is a little bit worse than Sammy Davis now. Sammy Davis is chilled out now, definitely. Remember his last Marion Lynch, thank you so much for your donation. Woo! Woo! Connie's sermon said, "Oh my god." Okay, let me go back. Why? Um hardcore, thank you. Smash the like button, okay? E or What are you doing, bro? I try to pull a quick one. What are you trying to drink my Starbucks? You got your own coffee, man. <laughs> Thanks for the coffee though this morning. I think <laughs> did I pay for it though? No, I did. <laughs> She's funny, right? Uh, don't here. Let me go like this. Uh, you can get your height a little bit. Okay. Woo! Donation. I know this is so cool, Sophie. Did you just get here, Sophie? Remember, Dee Dee has a GoFundMe page as well, and Nancy, my dad, set that up. My dad saw me struggling. Um, I've been pretty pretty single, you know, I've dated and stuff like that over the years, but I've been pretty single, nothing stuck or lasted, and he saw me struggling as a single business owner, female, and uh, here she is, here she is, she's walking in. Thank you so much, you guys. Pimp, pimp. All right, Dee Dee, sorry I missed her earlier. Okay, we'll be right with you, girl. Okay. David getting all the bonus points this week. I know, right? I better write it down because I'm easily forgetting stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know, you guys. Angela Turk's like, bye. All right, well, should I do this? <laughs> should I do this? <clears throat> All right, so I uh, forgot what we were talking about there, but we need to get to work. So let me get my tools going. Gone. Trust your instincts. I know Gina's like, trust, you guys can watch the board for a minute. Maybe when we get to the face, we'll peel out. Face is really hard. This is what this is what she does. Oh yeah, Sue. What's the heaviest dog you groom? I'll have to answer that later. So the, the this is what so Maggie Davis likes to hold her breath. And a lot of people don't understand that that can actually be happening. So she'll literally hold her breath until her eyes get really big and worrisome and then she's also mean at the same time like wanting to bite the clippers and not controllable because now you're holding a dog but she's holding her breath. And it's not easy to watch. And so it doesn't look great, but we have to hurry up. Like, boom, 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 get the eyes cleared out. Like, like don't hold your breath. I don't know where she does this, but okay. So, uh, yeah, very. Plus, um, well, we'll just see what happens here. Let's just see what happens here real fast. If I have to back off the live, I will. So let's just get the body and everything. We, it's cool. All right, so you guys can... Any contributions made will definitely impact the staying on live. But I love you guys, and uh, goodbye for now if we peel out. All right, so thank you so much, you guys. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. Is she ready? <laughs> no. I got to clean some tools real fast here. I don't know about this, you guys. This makes me nervous. I should start a new feed though, because that you can start a new feed on the other phone, the Samsung, because this one's on half the life. The Samsung's right there, ready to go, charging. Oh, I got to set up the Wi-Fi. Well, I guess you could. I have to set up. The I didn't want to do all that, bro. I guess if you want to.
Man, she's doing her face is, is one of the hardest things to do with Maggie. Scary. I don't know why. Sometimes I wish I could do the holding and someone else could do the, the face trimming. But I think it would make a big, big impact. You guys there? Spending enough time to get ready to go to the new feed. Get ready to go to the new feed, you guys. So the new feed, you must like the video immediately, and you and then donations are going to be, you know, we're going to watch the donations. So go to the new feed. David's setting it up now. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all your donations on this feed. Uh, we'll see you in a second. Are you going to set up the live live or the Samsung? Samsung. Samsung. Okay, get a few minutes. We'll see you in a few minutes.